Alright, so today I want to talk about making custom fixture types in MA3. So at some point during your MA3 journey, you're probably going to come across some custom fixtures, right? Maybe you're working in a venue and they have a whole bunch of like generic Chinese RGB like pars or something, or like fixtures that are going to add something to your show. Maybe they're not your primary rig or whatever. Maybe you're DJing for, you know, some reason and you're using MA3 um, and you just have a whole bunch of like cheap, um, you know, generic movers or something. Well, oftentimes those movers are not going to have a fixture profile that directly matches from a manufacturer. Sometimes they will, but most times they won't. And so oftentimes you're going to need to create your own. So today we're going to look at how to do that in MA3. Uh, subscribe, uh, tell your friends about this video, share it and like it. It'd be great. All right, let's take a look how to do this. Thank you so much. All right. So go over here. We're going to go into our patch. Going to go to fixture types. All right. So I already have a custom fi a couple of custom fixtures that I've made, but I'm going to go insert new fixture type. I'm going to name this um, mover RGB. All right, so I have it. I'm now going to go and hit the edit key. You can see we go into DMX modes. Okay, so a couple quick things about this section. This is similar to the GDTF share um, builder. The MA and GDTF are working together, so there's a lot of overlap. If you um, are trying to create like a complex fixture, like with pixels, or um, you know, like you actually want the 3D geometry so you can like visualize things in your 3D, you are probably going to want to go through GDTF. That is GDTF dash uh, share.com, I believe. Um, go through there, it's just a little easier to do that than going into here. So we're going to go to DMX modes. Uh, I'm going to name this um, uh, 6chan mode. All right. So, and now we're going to expand DMX channels. All right. So you can see we here we have our first DMX channel. Da, 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 da. All right. I'm going to expand it to our logical channel. And this is going to become our first, um, this is going to become our pan channel. We're going to make a six channel mover here, pan, tilt, um, RGB, and then a dimmer. So DMX break one, that's correct. Course is the first channel, so that's one. Fine is going to be two, because this is this mover has both course values and fine values, so fine values will be DMX number two. Default is going to be, uh, shall we say, 50. So, on our attribute, we're going to go in here and we will see pan, great. Um, master none, that's correct. Da, 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 highlight none, all this kind of stuff. We can expand it even more to the channel function. You can add that as pan. And here we can add our DMX to and from values. Our physical values. Um, our physical value is going to be negative 270 degrees to 270. And that is our physical value. All right, here we go. So that's our first channel done. We can close it out, and now we can add a new DMX channel. Da, 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 da. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to expand it. Um, here we're going to put course as, uh, sorry, no, not two. We're going to put it as three, fine as four. Default, again, 50%. Attribute is going to be tilt, tilt, master none. All looks good. And here our physical value is going to be uh, negative 135 degrees to positive 135 degrees. That's our tilt value. All right, great. We have our tilt in there. Yay. Now let's insert another one. This is going to become our dimmer. So our course value is going to be five. We don't have a fine value here. Default is going to be zero. Our highlight, we're going to want to make this um, why is this like that? We're going to go to percent, 100%. Brilliant. I just going to translate it. Okay. And this is going to be dimmer, dimmer. Our master here, because we want this to be controlled by our master fader, is going to be grand. Lovely. Um, all this looks good. Physical from zero to one. That looks good. Great. All right. New DMX channel. Insert. Du -du 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 -du. Course is going to be six. Notice when I said six channel, I didn't count in the fine channels, but you know, that's, hey ho. Um, our default is 0%. Highlight is going to be 
Um, 100%, beautiful. Low light, none, that's correct. This is going to be our red, red, beautiful master none. That looks good. Close that, insert a new DMX channel, beautiful. Um, this is going to be channel seven. It's going to become green. Beautiful. 100%. Those values look good. We have one more. We have our blue channel. Beautiful, beautiful. This is going to be channel eight. Lovely, lovely. We'll expand that. And this is going to be blue. Lovely. Our highlight here, again, 100%. So that way when everything goes, if we hit highlight, it's going to be an open white. Um, and all this looks good. Okay, so just a couple quick notes about other things here. If you're making other custom fixtures, this is just an example, but now you're kind of getting to see the layout, right? Um, if you don't know about DMX or something, you're not gonna be able to make this. I'm sorry, you really, you just need to know that. Um, so there are plenty of great resources to learn about how DMX works and all that kind of stuff. Um, a couple quick notes about some of the other things down here. You can see how you can assign other um, factors here. You can assign, um, MIB fades, the DMX curves. We've talked about DMX curves in another video. Check that out. Um, you can see over here, there are other things. You can invert the DMX, you can invert the encoder. So like the encoder would spin, um, if you spin it, it's gonna like go down the opposite direction. You can adjust the wheel of the fixture. So if like it's a color wheel or something, um, or a gobo wheel, you can add that here. You can see wheels over here. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, and a couple other factors as well. Uh, ignore follow cues, all that kind of stuff. Really, really cool. All right. Um, and a quick note about the uh, geometries and physical um, description tab. So the geometry is the actual like physical geometry of the fixture. So like the mode is linked to this geometry right now. Um, if you were creating like a pixel fixture, I'll probably do a video about this at some point um, because if you're making custom pixel fixtures, it's gonna, it's a little different because you actually use geometries to like reference those fixtures. Um, and that's how you create pixels. Uh, the physical, um, these are like a couple of, these are like the physical descriptions uh, of, the, of the models. Um, and then this is like where you can edit your model stuff. Um, but like I said, if you're going to be doing like, if you actually want to view them in 3D, please, please, please do it in um, gdtfshare.com or gdtf-share.com or whatever it is, um, because that is so much easier than doing it in here. If you actually like want to create like a 3D geometry that you can use. All right. This is great. We are going to clear out of this, move our RGB. Lovely. All right. Now let's go into our patch. I'm going to insert new fixture. Um, I'm going to go to user. Right here. Missed that at first. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, let's put one in. I'm going to do for a, a one patch. Sure, why not? Okay, great. So let's clear out of here. Save and exit. Going to clear everything here. I'm going to go for a one. Brilliant. And you can see it right there. Beautiful. Take a look at that. We have position here. You can see our um, the default values have showed up in here. We can change those. You can see how there's nothing in 3D right now. If I was to move this, you would not get anything. Kind of scary, I know. Um, and it's not set up in 3D properly, right? You can tell. Uh, but you have color. You have all the things here. You can adjust it. Take a look at that. And now you can, um, you can adjust all of those. Um, one thing to note, you can actually see I made a little bit of a mistake here. Let me put all these down. Um, when I when you put the master at 100, you'll see there wasn't actually any intensity showing in your selection grid because there was no color assigned yet. So I'd have to make the default color values um, to be 100 per, to be 100 percent. I didn't actually do that, um, but we can go do that right now. Back into fixture types, and go to edit, DMX modes, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and our default here should have been. Um, it should have been 100% for um, all of these. I set my default as the DMAX um, thing, the DMAX readout as the wrong one. I don't know why I did that. Beautiful. 
Now we will close that and save. Brilliant. Alrighty. That is how you can make and create custom fixtures in MA3. I hope this video was really helpful. Share it, like it, subscribe. Um, lots more videos coming, lots of exciting things coming in the next MA3 software update. Um, yeah, check it out. Thank you so much, guys. Catch you later.